What works? Language, literacy and numeracy in training and assessment. They do have to write and it, and it, is, it is a problem. Um, they don't like writing and I can appreciate that. I probably wasn't a fan of writing either. Uh, unfortunately, um, there is a little bit of writing they've got to do. We don't make them write page after page after page. When you're asking learners to write in the classroom, if you feel that they're not um, comfortable with the kind of writing that you're asking them to do, give them a model first. Show them what it is you want to, them to achieve at the end. So if it's a formal letter, show them a model of a formal letter, talk about how it's laid out, the different sections of it, and then ask the learners to attempt the different sections of it. Scaffolding a piece of writing means breaking the piece of writing down into parts, showing the learner how to write each part, and then helping them put it all together at the end so that at the end they can do a whole complex task. But in the beginning, they're doing parts of the task only. I think I'd use the glossary and see if they know the meaning of the word, but the actual word itself, I'd break it up into small words and see if we can break it down and really understand what it is. The students have to do a lot of writing for the assessment tasks, so there's a lot of short answer questions and um, case studies and projects that need to be written. Um, and then, you know, I encourage them as much as I can to take notes during our training sessions because I feel notes are very important for them to refer back to. Uh, I also offer my students the fact that if they've got a, a laptop computer or an iPad, they can bring it in and they can, they can do their class notes on that. I might have short answers where they've got to uh, put a letter in a box or tick a box. Uh, I will have some long answer questions. I try to steer clear of them. Again, um, the writing is an issue. If, if I bog them down with a lot of writing, um, I normally don't get an answer or I get something that I can't read. Every vet trainer needs to be helping their learners acquire the literacy and numeracy of their workplace, of that particular vocation.